Major Slack Videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Divinity Original Sin 2. And oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe the humongous facepalm I did this morning when I realized that you can actually force the Seekers to help you with the Bishop Alexander fight. I did not know this. Did you know this? I, I think very few people know this because I have not seen a single video showing this. I see everybody taking on the Bishop Alexander fight just with their party. But you can actually force the Seekers to help you with it and then, then the whole thing turns into a total cakewalk. I, how do you do that? Like I'm going to show you. Okay, first of all, what, what am I talking about? This is the Hollow Marshes area. This is the Fort Joy area. Once you've pretty much done everything here and like you're ready to leave this area, this is pretty much the end of Act 1. Um, you go down here and um, you well right now you have this objective marker called the Seeker Rallying Point. And I'm presuming that you went here to the uh, the ruined castle, you rescued Gareth, and at this point Gareth, as you can see, is wandering around um, the sanctuary and he's waiting for you to talk to him so that you can go up here and kind of complete this whole mission here. And in this area here, that's where you hook up with Gareth, kind of, sorta, and then all of a sudden you're facing off with this humongous, ridiculously tough fight with Bishop, Ale Bishop Alexander, some weird thing called Geist, uh, a motley crew of, of uh, marksmen and, and knights and whatever, and a giant and gigantic void woken drill, drill worm. Okay, it's, it's hellacious. It's, it's a hellacious fight. Everybody knows it's a hellacious fight. And um, I've seen all kinds of like, you know, even I, I developed a fantastic strategy to deal with this fight. I've been doing this for three months the wrong way, okay? I figured out a great strategy to deal with this with just my two girls, you know, just like my two lone wolf build here. <laughs> like I said this morning, I just, I did such a big face palm, I, I knocked down the wall behind me. It was just like, I can't believe I missed that. Okay, so here we go. Actually, I'm going to do it both ways, okay? Just in case you've gone past the point of no return and, you know, you can't get the Seekers to help you. I'll do another video tomorrow showing you how to take on um, this fight without the Seekers. It's a lot tougher, but it can be done. Um, first of all, let's hook up with Gareth. This is this is the the thing that I think a lot of people um, they miss. You're supposed to talk to Gareth before you do this. Okay, so let's talk to Gareth. Welcome, my friend. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts. Now, what we're looking for is the dialogue that asks him, asks him if he has a plan. Okay, so let's just keep going through the dialogue. I know you seek answers. I'll tell you what I can. Okay, tell Gareth you've been to the Hall of Echoes. Could you be one of these void or god woken rather? You have spoken to a god? Gareth stares intently, not so much at you as through you. Yes, I see something there. But it's not for me to say. I must get you to Malady. She will know. She was imprisoned on the Lady Vengeance. One of the few of us not left to rot on the sand and sun. All the more vital we take the ship from the Magisters. Godwoken. Alright, ask how the Seekers... Uh, no, I usually go for this one here. Look around you and frown. Gareth and his group can't hide here forever. There is no shame in finding solace and shelter. Or do you feel much guilt in enjoying the peace of the Sanctuary? Here we stand less chance of catching Dallas's eye. These horrors she commands. Shriekers, she calls them. They still protect the harbor, firing pure death at anything that moves near. Alright, and this also assumes that you at least have a purging wand, or you've freed slain the dragon who will help you get rid of the Shriekers, or you've killed all the Shriekers, as in my case, if you've been following this walker, all the Shriekers at this point are all dead. The Lady Vengeance is still anchored there too. Lucian, save us from whatever plot Dallas is concocting on it. And here we go. This is the dialogue here, the line you're looking for. Ask Gareth what happens next. Next, does he have a plan? Well, I had a plan. Gratiana told me of weapons that could counter these shriekers, purging ones that steal source from its host. I went to that armory looking for one of these wands, but Alexander's bootlickers stumbled in first. I found nothing but dust and blood. 
All right, now depending on your progress, you may get different lines coming up next. We've got to find a way to silence those shriekers. If we do that, the Lady Vengeance is ours. Freedom is ours. For example, if you haven't killed the Shriekers yet, you may not have this option here. You may only have this option. Inform Gareth that you already have a weapon, a wand that can destroy the Shriekers. Either way, you're going to go down there and, um, you know what? You better do it my way because I, I can't guarantee this, this get the Seekers to help you in this fight strategy is going to work any other way. So you better go back uh, a couple of videos and see how I killed the Shriekers on my own just using the Purging Wand, I believe. Yeah, and I wiped them all out, and that's my point. That is my point, or my progress in this walkthrough so far. All the Shriekers are now dead, so we get this option. Tell Gareth the path is clear. The Shriekers have all have already been destroyed. I had no doubt. You bring me hope, Sorcerer. I'll gather the other Seekers and travel to shore. Meet us there as soon as you can. Okay, and you see that? We get 5600 XP, and the Call to Arms quest was updated. Gareth's voice echoes throughout the Enclave with such command, it could rouse a fawn to action. We move, Seekers. Now is the time to resist. The Lady Vengeance will be ours! Haha, <laughs> alright. So, let's take a look at the, uh, the quest list. Here we go, Call to Arms. This is the key right here. This quest right here. Once this quest closes, you can no longer get the Seekers to help you. That's the way it works. Okay, so now at this point, all the Seekers have left Sanctuary. You can no longer do business with anybody here because they're all gone. And they've all gone up to... This area right here in the abandoned camp. So that's where we're going now. Okay, so there they all are. It's just hanging about, ready to rock. Okay, there they are, the guys. The, see the green highlighted there? There's all the Seekers. This is good. If you have a, a, the game at this point, make a save. Now, take your two guys, or whomever you have, one, two, or... You're gonna need at least two guys to do this, okay? Two to four members in your party. I don't, I don't know if you can do this with just one member of your party. And you're gonna need the teleport skill and you're going to need two bows. You don't even need to be an expert in like, you know, ranged attacks or bows. You don't need to be a huntsman. You just need to have two bows, one on each party member, All right? Now, take your guys down here. As far as I can tell, let's just go into tactical view here. As far as I can tell, I mean, I've done a lot of testing, but I haven't. I don't have time to like thoroughly test every single perimeter around here. Okay, as far as I can tell, there's two perimeters. There is the close the call to arms quest perimeter, and there is the start the fight with Bishop Alexander perimeter, and the close to co the call to arms quest perimeter is a little bigger than the start the fight with Bishop Alexander perimeter. So what happens is, <clears throat> pardon me, once you go closer and you breach the clo the call to arms close quest perimeter, you won't necessarily start the fight with all these guys here, but all the seekers will run up and they'll run down here, run down the left side, they'll get in the rowboat and they'll take off and they'll leave you all by your lonesome to deal with Bishop Alexander, Geist and the giant gigantic void woken drill worm. I'm sure 90%, 99% of players, that's what happened to them. And they're, they're dealing with that alone. But I <laughs> I just stumbled upon this by sheer accident. You don't have to do this, okay? See what happens, you breach the perimeter and... Let me just do this now, I'll demonstrate what, what happens right now. Because I've got a quick save there and I'll just reload the quick save. So let's see you go down here. In the air Could it be slain? Okay, so we breached the slain perimeter. Slain flies by because we helped him, and he'll wipe out all the shriekers. Get an update. Now, let's say you want to go down this side, you want to apply a strategy to take on this fight from the left side, which is, I think, the best way to do it, okay? Once you breach a certain, there's a certain trigger line, once you, I think it's actually here. Once you, that's what I did. Because my strategy was to take Sibyl and teleport 
up here and then kick off the fight. But it doesn't kick off the fight, it just kind of gets here closer. Watch what happens. See that? Call to arms updates. Okay, so the quest is updated and it's closed. And watch what happens. See all these guys? All the seekers run up the left side. And they'll get in this boat here. They sank our ship, so now we're taking theirs. Move out! And take off. Now for months, ever since I've I've gotten this game, I've, I've replayed this this fight many, many, many times. I thought this was the way it was supposed to be. I thought that was normal. I, I didn't think there was any other way to do this. And then you were just left here to fight these guys alone. There is a uh, Geist, Bishop Alexander, the Fly Girl, a couple of magisters over here, like her another magister there, plus. About halfway through the fight, this giant, gigantic, huge void woken drill worm will spawn, and it's just gonna be hell. Yeah, that's what I thought that you had to do with. You have to do the like all by your lonesome. You don't have to do that. Let's just reload. Okay. Girls go up here. Like I said, you need at least two members in your party. Have one member of your party with a bow at the top of the stairs. Have the other member of your party with the bow and the teleport skill, the teleportation skill, right here. Go down and you're gonna plant right here. The rums. Could it be slain? Look, look slain at fly him. by, He's flies by. Now, at this point, we haven't breached any of the perimeters. Let's just go right up here. We haven't breached the call to arms perimeter. We haven't breached the start the fight perimeter. Nothing's happening. But we're at the point where we can actually reach Bishop Alexander with a bow. So we can force attack him and start the fight, which is what we're going to do. As soon as he stops, force attack him. Do it again. Get him pissed off enough to start the fight. The fight's on. He always advances. Does some stuff. And it's your turn. What's wrong with Sibyl? Oh, she's chilled. Okay. <laughs> Chill, Sibyl. Now, take your teleportation skill. Bishop Alexander should be within range. Grab him. And bring him right back here and go as far south as you can as close to the stairs and plop them right boom hang on let's try this again grab him and plop him right there once he's there it's still your turn switch to your other guy who's not in the fight this is Losa okay you can do this she's not in the fight now we're going to force attack Bishop Alexander from here with our bow. Again, another bow. And like I said, it doesn't matter what build you use. All you have to do is just have a bow. Because they can reach that far. Force attack. And the fight is kicked off with your other guy. Plus, all the Seekers are now in the fight. See, all these guys are now in the fight. And there you go. And from this point, it's pretty much a cakewalk. And it's like very unpredictable what's going to happen, but you know, you got all these guys on your side, so just don't die and you, you got a mate. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, it's Sibyl's turn. Let's, let's do in Bishop Alexander right away. Um, flesh sacrifice. Blood arrows. And how about um, some peace of mind? Why not? And let's throw a barrage at Bishop. All three shots.
these guys are all horribly out of position. Not only that, but you've created a beautiful choke point through this arch here. Typically what happens is the fight splits up into two, two sections. The Magister's approaching section and the drill, the giant void woken drill worm, which typically spawns right here, which is perfect because, you know, you got all the seekers there helping you. Okay, it's Losa's turn. All right, let's give you a little bit of courage. And she encouraged people around her. Peace of mind. And same thing. Barrage attack, all three shots. Yeah, how you like it? Oh, and I should have given her uh, Venom Coating too. Let's uh, save that for next turn. End turn? All right, get in the war there, Mattis. All right, good old-fashioned mosquito swarm. Come on, Gareth. Nice one. Teleports right in there. Beautiful. only one thing about this um, if you've been doing it the other way like I have <laughs> all this time and you'd be thinking oh man I'm such a badass for taking on these guys you know with my party and then taking on that void walk and drill worm and then once you figure that figure out this you're going shit <laughs> damn it <laughs> I was being a badass for nothing um, okay so Sabil's turn Bishop is down, that's all she wrote. We got an update on the Magister Crusade. Bishop Alexander is dead. What will happen to the Magisters? Well, let's find out. Okay, so Sabil, you have six shots left, six AP left. Um, are you still chilled? Huh. Okay, I should have waited uh, until. That like that's because of slaying the dragon passing. I should have waited. Anyways, who's the next enemy? You. Okay, so you're priority number one. Let's get uh, PB on the scene here. Find some blood. Actually. Get a better idea. Yeah. <laughs> Insert diabolical laughter. Oh, I'm trying to turn uh, Bishop into uh, a bloated corpse. I don't know why it's not working. There we go. <laughs> and how about a totem? A water totem, okay, that's rare. Three points left. Um I forget what cures chilled. I won't worry about it. How about a little something to slow you down? 
like you. There you go. One turn left. Go invisible. And here we go. Here's the Johnny Megantic Void to Woken Control Worm. This is perfect because these guys are left with him alone. He, wherever he spawns is pretty much random. Okay. Can my bloated corpse get past? Uh, Losa. Like everybody else, you're out of position, that's okay. Let's start working on this bad boy here. And... Hang on. Okay, only 30% resistance to poison. High earth resistance, naturally, because he, you know, he's a worm. Okay, so, yeah. Venom coating should be no problem. And let him have it. And again. One more time. Wiped out almost all his physical armor. We have one AP left. Why don't you go invisible? Let the Seekers clean up. This is really unusual. I've never seen her leave that post there. Alright. Working it. Working it. Don't blow my bloated corpse. I got plans for him. <laughs> this guy's in the rear with the gear. Yeah, get in the war there. You too. Let's go, Samadel. These guys are all nicely grouped together. This is perfect. I can't wait to use my bloated corpse. So oh, he's way down the list. Yeah, this is great. I mean, I got my hands off the wheel right now. I'm just watching. <laughs> Who's that? Jules, come on! Let's go! Everybody! Everybody into the pool! Come on in, the water's fine! Oh, did my bloated corpse get knocked down? Dang it, okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. I just want to back uh, Sibyl off a bit here. Oh, he's hurting. He's hurting big time. Time for a little sky shot. And how about another totem right there? Look at this. this is a beautiful sight. Losa, all right. What is left of this guy? Not much. What do you have at your disposal? You got the high ground anyway, so. 
And one more shot. And oh, critical hit. Sweet. One more shot should finish him up. And that's it. And you got an extra 2 AP for making that kill. Congratulations, Losa. Um, let's get down there. On the front lines. Tactical retreat. Alright. Next priority is this guy. This bad boy here. Geist. What have we got left? Let's do a sky shot. Beautiful. And two AP left. I have this other new skill. Smoke cover. Yeah, I turned most into a total sneaky finesse queen. Smoke cover. I did make that. Like I made this by combining. Let me look at my notes here. This is a really cool skill. This is a combo skill. Combine any arrow thurge skill and any scoundrel skill skill book and you get that smoke cover. It's pretty much like a uh, chameleon cloak. Okay, you're too far away to do the chicken. Um, So I think I'm going to do that. Smoke cover. There you go. That's it. End turn. Exter. Did I screw it up by casting smoke cover? Come on, Exter. Gonna move on. There you go. You bugger. These guys are moving around in my smoke cloud. I guess they kind of worked against me the first time I used that. Where the heck is he going? Back up there? What are you kidding? Somebody do something. Alright, clothes enraged. That's good. That's always a plus. <laughs> Alright, finally my turn. Uh <laughs> Seville, where are you? You are there. Target is out of sight uh, because of that smoke. Same thing. Okay, yeah, this kind of backfired at me. Um, just have to wait till it dissipates either that or get close. Tell you what, I'm gonna delay turn. Oh, this guy we can see. All right, let's do him in. Barrage attack. I'm ready. And I think it's definitely time to switch her over to her melee weapon. How about a crippling blow? Glory is mine. And at least once per per battle. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, boys. We're having KFC for dinner. <laughs> Everybody get at your forks. <laughs> That's right. Work on that. Work on that bird. Grease that bird. 
<laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hilarious. Looks like my bloated corpse didn't make it. Okay, that was a waste. Anyways, whatever. This is just like, you know, the cakewalk. Here's bad boy right there. There we go. There we go, but we're gonna work it. That's it, work it. Your turn, Kirby. What the heck? Okay. Gareth's taking the long way home. What the hell? What are you doing, Gareth? Or whomever you are. Sabeel, you are there. All right. How about a barrage attack for you? And a sky shot. Do we have it? No. How about pin down? And a regular shot. And that's enough out of you. Who's left? The Geist. Spiel still still has uh, 6 AP. The Geist is there. Knocked down. <laughs> Check it out. It's pretty crowded around here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's left? Magister Mark's woman. And let's just end turn. Losa. You're all by your lonesome Magister Marks woman, aren't you? Oh wait, there's this the fly girl here. Okay, and Losa is here. Let's go here. Oh, I still have two turns left on my tactical retreat. Yeah, that was a bad move. Um, Alright, let's just end turn. I had this cloak and dagger with Pelosa. off the wheel here. <laughs> Just watch. Alright, Sabiel. 
you have tactical retreat ready to go again. What can you do with it? You can go here and go up the, yeah. There we go, we finally breached the perimeter for the call to arms quest. Up you go. Still got 5 AP left. Swing it out around here. Haha, <laughs> we got you now. Too far. Get up. And we could do flesh sacrifice. Get an extra AP. Plunk a totem right down here. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Fly Girl goes back to her original platform. What's she doing now? Alright, Losa, uh, yeah, let's use this. Beautiful. Haha, <laughs> hello! <laughs> Didn't see me coming, eh? And hey, you have no physical armor. How about that? I think it's time for a little. Battle stop. Down you go. And how about all in? It's a missed. Oh, come on. You're so lucky. Well, you got two AP left. Uh, this is not gonna miss. Actually, that's a waste. Let's just do a regular hit. There we go. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Work it, boys. Work it. She gets up. She misses her turn. Come on, Doug, and get in the war. Yeah, but it turns it into a cakewalk, but boy does it take these guys a long time. Pretty sure I could have done it myself uh, with just, with just uh, Losa and Seville and wiped all the, all the guys. Pretty sure. You'll see tomorrow in tomorrow's video. That's enough out of you. Alright, and you, you're next. Let's start off with a little bit of barrage. All three shots. And how about a sky shot? One AP left. Let's go back down and really like, you know, confuse her. I still have one AP left. Let me go around the corner here. Yeah, go get him. Go get her, Claude. Finish her off. Atta boy. Good one. Just give it up, fly girl. Give it up. 
Oh, you just had to blow that barrel, didn't you? All right, tactical retreat is now available for Losa. If she goes over here, she should be able to tactical retreat up to this platform here. Right about here. Haha, <laughs> did slack call it, I did slack call it. Up you go. Okay, fly girl, get right with your maker. Crippling blow. Let's just do a regular attack. <laughs> These guys are like, it's lunch time now. <laughs> it's almost over. <laughs> Here's my union break. Who took the jelly donuts? There we go, it's all over. There you go. That's the Bishop Alexander fight the cakewalk way with the Seekers. And we got lots of loot. And tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to show you what happens. Let's say, for example, you screwed up and you're at the point where all these guys, the Seekers, ran down to the boat, got into the boat, and they just left you, like, you know, with your wee-wee hanging, hanging in the breeze and facing all those guys alone. I'll show you how to take on so no that entire fight guys. with Move just on. your party, if you've been following this walker. Or if you just want the pleasure of wiping out all those guys without the help of the Seekers. I'll show you that in tomorrow's video. One left and that's it. Okay, so that's it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I'm not sure from which um, save I'm going to continue. I'll decide that tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.